A former actress at the center of a scandal that led to the resignation of Hewlett Packard CEO Mark Hurd says she was surprised and saddened at the turn of events. Jody Fisher has been identified as the woman who filed sexual harassment charges against Hurd. In a statement issued through her attorney, Gloria Allred, the 50-year-old Fisher says she never intended for Hurd to lose his job. She also says she and Hurd never had an affair or intimate sexual relationship. According to the New York Daily News, Fisher worked as a marketing contractor for HP for two years beginning in 2007. Her job primarily involved setting up executive events for the company. Fisher's sexual harassment claim led to an investigation. While the company did not find that Hurd violated HP's sexual harassment policy, it did determine that Hurd falsified expense reports, specifically expenses related to dinners he had with Fisher. Hurd abruptly resigned as HP's CEO on August 6, 2010. Fisher said in her statement that she had resolved her claim with Hurd privately without litigation. She said she would not comment on the matter further. Jodie Fisher has worked as an actress in both television and films. In 2007, Fisher was a contestant on the NBC reality dating show Age of Love. The show featured women ages 21 to 48 vying for the affections of tennis star Mark Philippoussis. Fisher's stint on Age of Love didn't last long. She was the first contestant eliminated from the show. In addition to her TV and movie career, Fisher has worked in commercial real estate and as a salesperson. According to the statement from Gloria Allred's office, Fisher also once worked on Capitol Hill. She served as a member of the House Select Committee on Narcotics Abuse and Control. For more information on this topic, visit the links below.